Yes, sir. All right, hi all. This is Travis Bonds from um, Thea and Shown. I'm giving you guys a client tool overview with customers, and I also have our end user Ian Patrell on the phone as well. And let's get started. Um, today's agenda, we'll be going over American Made, Who Are We, the Catalog 163, What's New, PPE, This or That, Service Kits, Client Training Modules, and then at the end, we'll have a question and answer. All right, Ian, I'll let you take it away on this one. Yeah, so hi, everyone. Um, this was a, a pamphlet that was released by uh, Tom uh, Klein Jr. and Mark Klein, who are our uh, co-presidents here at Klein Tools. Um, just a nice letter uh, stating that, hey, we're here to support all trades people during these tough times and that Klein Tools uh, can be counted on to uh, still provide the, uh, the tools and equipment to keep uh, all of our systems running. Uh, additionally, it does uh, reiterate our uh, Made in America uh, manufacturing standpoint uh, and how we are committed uh, to helping the American economy and uh, American worker. Something else just to note here uh, is that if you would like a, a free sticker here, uh, the sticker in that top right hand corner, uh, you've got our back, we've got yours, uh, is available. Please go to clientools.com and, and you will receive that in the mail. Just a little bit about who we are. Uh, Client Tools was founded in 1857. Uh, you know, so think about that within itself. How many companies can say that they're uh, 163 years uh, uh, old? Uh, we are still a uh, family-run business, uh, as you saw with that pamphlet with Tom Klein Jr. and Mark Klein. Uh, but Matthias Klein was the one who started Klein Tools. Uh, he sort of forged the uh, first lineman, a pair of lineman pliers together. And uh, today, that is still uh, what we are uh, known for. Uh, continuing on that uh, Made in America uh, theme, these are our facilities. So we actually have an additional facility in Pennsylvania here. So we have nine facilities over seven states. Uh, something to be very excited about is our Mansfield, Texas facility. Uh, we're actually building a uh, 100,000 square foot uh, distribution center there. We're hoping to be fully moved in uh, there by uh, late summer, early fall. And uh, hopefully for everyone, that'll just result in uh, better shipping times, better receiving times, and uh, just more efficient on our end as well. Um, right here, you guys have the new Klein 163 catalog. Um, what's new about this one is the tabs on the side of it allows you guys to quickly access um, if you guys need to need anything about voice data. Um, you can quickly flip to the tab and see exactly what's on there for the tab for voice and data. Um, the 163 is keeps up with the current year, how long Klein has been out for, for the catalog numbers. Um, Ian, did I miss anything on that one? No, you're all good. All right. Um, the first page you guys will see when you open up the new catalog is what's new from Klein 2020. So just a quick overview of all the new products that are out for 2020 that are new. Already in. Yeah, so uh, Travis and I are just going to go through a handful or two of new products here. Uh, the first one that we have is our click lock uh, modular uh, tool belt system here. Uh, I I'm very excited about this new tool belt that we launched. Um, you know, in the past, uh, we've had, have had other tool belts, but uh, this one's customizable. So you start here in the bottom right hand corner with the tool belt itself and then you have four different pouches so you have piping parts trimming and your drill pouch there so depending upon where or uh you know, where the end user is going into uh he or she can just put on a a different pouch which uh, would fit the need and tools that they need in that area so uh, end user may be going into to a hospital and may need a, uh, a drill pouch but may not need a piping pouch so it's really nice and that middle photo really sums it up. It clicks onto uh, the belt very nicely. It's easy to get on and off. Another really nice added feature to um, our tool belt is that we have a, uh, a wall docking station here. So this can be mounted into the uh, back of a truck, um, back of a warehouse. 
it's a very easy way to keep all of those pouches organized so when you need them you're ready to go uh, but overall it's a very slim style belt uh, it's not bulky at all and uh great features that's customizable and since this product has been released um we have getting a little bit of attention for the maintenance guys um different crews like the, um, depending on what they're working on throughout the maintenance house they um like to just see what different pouches they can select from so try to gear it towards some of the maintenance guys out there um right here you have the new slim tip insulated screwdriver um they do come in two sets you have a two-piece set and a four-piece set um a thousand volt clearly marked on the tip um nice thing about the slim tips is that the tip is actually real nice and skinny as you guys would know um it fits right into a tight terminal block breaker um it is american made and ian you see more details on this one yeah just that it's uh the slim style shafts are, are, are great to get into there there's this tight terminal block slim style breakers uh, another really nice thing is that that insulation is flush with the uh, with that tip there, so uh, don't have to worry about any chipping uh, of that insulation at all, and it will uh, continue to keep you protected uh, up to that 1,000-volt rating there. Uh, we came out with a new uh, laser level here, and um, so at, at first glance, it's just a level here, so you have three easy-to-read uh, vials. Uh, on the level itself. Um, what's nice is, and it's a shame that that picture doesn't have it uh, there, but uh, the laser projects clearly out of that uh, level. It's horizontal uh, laser, uh, projects upwards to 75 feet and gives you a 180 uh, degree viewpoint of that laser. So not only is it the level, you also have the laser level uh, incorporated as well. Uh, with this uh, level, you do get the uh, removable leveling base, so you can adjust and uh, level the level before you uh, use the uh, laser level stuff. But overall, it's uh, really like this level. It feels very durable, so this level is going to be able to take a little bit more of a beating than some of the others. Uh, but overall, it's magnetic on the bottom, uh, has the V groove on the top, and uh, just real good quality. Uh, right there. I think you covered everything on that one, Ian. All right, here you guys have the new NC VT6. I can grab my card. Um, it provides a non-contact termination for AC cables, cords, and circuit breakers. Um, it detects AC voltage from 12 to 1,000 volts with dual um, audio indicators. Um, it also has a nice little laser point on top, laser class 2. And the map price is pretty good for a map price. Well, I could do, you're looking at $49.97. So um, not bad at all for what it could do. Uh, Ian, if you want any more details on that, it does have a laser foot up to 66 feet. And the cool thing about this device too is it can measure from the front of the device and from the back of the device, depending on the setting you selected it. Yeah, so just a, a really nice tool at Klein Tools. We're all about trying to combine different tools to uh, offer the end user some cost savings. So if you were to buy just their standard non-contact voltage tester, and a, uh, a laser distance meter, you're going to be spending about 28% more than if you were to buy uh, this non-contact, as Travis said, for uh, I think it's like $49 there. So, no, but really good overall. No more having to pace out how long a wire has to be, how long a piece of conduit has to be. Um, just really good on the uh, job uh, laser distance on that too. We got a uh, new flashlight out here. So uh, what's very nice about this is that it is rechargeable. Um, we have another battery operated flashlight that retails for about $20 to the end user. This one uh, retails there for uh, $39.97. So this is more expensive here, but the message is, is that uh, that rechargeable is going to save you money because you don't have to be spending those batteries. So you will get that cost savings back incredibly quickly. For the light itself, though, it's really nice. There's two settings. You have a, a low setting that'll run uh, for about 12 hours, 125 lumens, and you have a high setting that will go about six hours at 350 lumens. So it's a pretty bright light. Has a focus tip on uh, 
on the light itself. So depending upon how wide or narrow you need it to be, uh, you have that as well. Magnet on the back, it charges a mini USB to a USB. Nice added feature on this one as well is uh, it incorporated a laser pointer. So uh, this will optimize on the job explanation of tasks to do. So there is no more pointing at objects. This has to get moved from here to here. It could be confusing for some of the uh, the trace people on the job. Now you just use the laser pointer. It's just a lot easier to explain uh, tasks that need to be done. But I think that's all on that one job. No problem. Oh, right here, you guys, you guys have the new Tradesman Pro Tool Station tool bag with a working light. Uh, cool thing about this one is for, um, start a lot of guys do it for the residential guys working on some inside the houses where you can't get the carpet dirty or you don't want to disturb the house too much. This tool bag actually opens up, folds all the way out. Um, you can lay your tools up there. It also has 21 pockets and large interior for maximum tool storage. It does have a light at the top that shines directly down on your tool bag. So if you're in a dark situation, it'll light up your tool bag for you. Um, one of the cool features I found on this tool bag is on the side, it has a nice little spot for a tape measure that can slip right into it on the side of it. Um, good thing too, especially for some of your journey guys or some of your newer um, workers out there, having all the tools in the tool bag and to put it on your back, it's not that heavy at all. The straps are very comfortable. Um, I know taking it to trade shows recently, I've been able to Put all my tools in there and walk around without any problems. Um, Ian, did I you, you got me see anything on that one for you? Yeah, no, I I, I think it did good, and really just re-emphasizing the that last point you made there is that uh, if anyone's in a uh, an urban environment who's taking subways or trains or buses to and from work, this is going to be certainly a, a really good tool bag for you. Got a uh, our new digital angle gauge and, and, and level here. So uh, it's act as a, a level. So when it reads zero on the screen, uh, you know the surface is level. But it will also tell you exactly what your angles are. So we've had a, a bit of luck here with uh, some apprenticeship programs. Uh, you know, teaching the kids how to bend pipe here. So it's magnetic. So it hooks directly onto the pipe. And when you do, you're doing your bends, you can see exactly uh, what angle you are at. So uh, I know a couple uh, of the students I see nowadays are aligning their phone up to the pipe to try to see what their angle is. Uh, I think this offers a great solution uh, as it can just click right onto the pipe there and they'll know exactly where they are. So certainly no excuses for the, uh, the bad angles on the pipe there. But overall for, uh, for the end user for you know under $30 for a uh, device like this, it's certainly a, uh, a must have in the tool bag. And then one more little cool feature on this device too is if you do have a certain angle, so let's say if you have a 42 degree angle, you can hit the nice little hold button on the side on the front of the screen and it'll hold the angle for you so you can walk around and write it down in your notes so you don't forget the angle of the pipe. Nice little cool little feature right there. And I'll let you talk about this one right here. Yeah, so we came out with a uh, insulation resistance tester, uh, aka Megger here. So. Uh, Biggest thing to talk about here is the uh, the price itself. It's priced at uh, under $150. So uh, for those who know, some megas can go upwards of, of, of $1,600 here. So uh, what we did is we took a lot of those expensive features out and in pricey mega uh, in order to drop that cost down so the everyday end user can have one. Uh, may not just be one per crew. Everyone can have their own here. Uh, so expensive features like uh, tracing how long a wire has to be, you're not going to find that in this mega. Uh, however, this will pump voltage back into a wire to see if it's uh, creating any arcs at all. So uh, once again, with the residential uh, crews, we have been given uh, some success here uh, as they want to test to see uh, that installation before they put the drywall up. Uh, certainly can save them a, a, a lot of time and money to test it prior to instead of having to rip that drywall down at any point. Uh, but overall, for $149, it's very versatile tool and uh, certainly very, uh, very good, very accurate. Additionally, it does come with two leads as well, and then it also comes with a nice carrying case for your contractor.
we got a new line of fish tastes out as well. So this was a, a pretty big overhaul of our older models here. Uh, so we did a multiple different things here. So first is uh, the interior of the fish tape itself. Uh, on the market, we see a lot with square. We see a lot with circles. Uh, we did a couple studies and we found out that the most efficient design uh, for that payout would be kind of a mix between a circle and a square. And that's sort of what you can see in that image there. We also redesigned the whole uh, interior of the fish tape itself to allow um, just that smoother payout. If you're doing a, a 240 run, we on the back end, your arms are sore. This fish tape won't uh, make your arms as sore as uh, some of the other fish tapes on the market right now due to how we designed the interior of that fish tape. Also made that handle bigger. I know a lot of trace people like to hold it from the front there. Um, just once again, conforming to what they uh, like to see in a fish tape. And probably for me, the uh, the best thing about it is drop tested six times for 20 feet. So. Uh, we all know fish tapes aren't used at our height. They're used in ceilings. They need to be able to take a beating. Uh, the Klein tool fish tape will certainly be able to do that uh, for you. Um, right here, you guys, we have the new hard hat line from Klein. Uh, I'll let Ian talk about more of the details. I'll talk about as far as a personal experience with this hard hat. Um, I, since we took over the hard hat, uh, since they came out with the hard hat line, uh, one of the biggest selling points is having the contractor, your end user, physically try the hard hat on. Um, it's one of the most comfortable hard hats. The padding does come out easily for you to wash it. We did add a bigger notch on the back. Um, contractors have bigger hands, especially with their gloves on, made it a bigger target for them to grab it and actually tighten secure the helmet. Um, we do have a couple of styles of different, a couple of styles of the helmets as well. Um, Ian, I'll let you get on the detailed parts of what the helmet can actually do. Yeah, I mean, Travis covered a lot of it. Uh, really, uh, Klein thought process here. And, you know, if we talk to any foreman out in the field, they say the worst part about hard hats is what? Getting people to wear them. Uh, so we went out and we sought to make a hard hat that people actually want to wear. So like Travis said, with that removable padding, uh, adding that extra layer of, of comfort, we also center the hard hat differently, so it feels much more center on your head, uh, a lot more well-balanced than uh, a lot of the other traditional hard hats that you see. And even the small things, the uh, the tightening device on the back, a lot of times your head is just sitting on that. We just added uh, a little bit of soft rubber there. Once again, just trying to make it a lot more comfortable to the end user, and uh, I, I think it certainly is uh, a, a really good quality hard hat. We also offer customization. So uh, if you're a contractor uh, or if you know of any accounts or customers who uh, would like to have your hard hat customized, we will happily do that for you. Uh, right now, we're only able to do that in white. Um, we're looking at, at other colors. You see the, uh, the colors on the side there. Those uh, could be logo colors as well. So right now, only white. We have the logo colors on the right-hand side there. Uh, please feel free to reach out if you would like to uh, go down that road. We also... Uh, go ahead, Ian. Uh, All right, you can take it. Yes, yeah, yeah, so we uh, launched a whole line of safety gear here. Um, so you see uh, safety glasses here, very nice, lightweight, durable, non-slip on the nose. Uh, lightweight gel knee pads here, uh, just for what they are, they're, they're absolutely perfect. Uh, goat skin leather gloves. So with these, we are able to increase padding while also increase, uh, the dexterity of the glove itself. We got cut two, cut four gloves. The hard hat here, like I covered, just a, a really good safety vest. I know safety vests are so standard. Uh, products to see on job sites, but we have a, a ton of pockets in these, uh, a nice zipper to tighten across your chest. It's a really nice safety vest. And obviously, uh, we have a P100 respirator out. Uh, so uh, the P100 is actually going to be better than your traditional N95 mask here. Um, but so all of this can come on a, uh, a safety display here. Uh, so, you know, we can put this on a a loading dock so customers can still see it. 
And um, if you would like to purchase the safety display, as I said, it comes with the two respirators. So please feel free uh, to reach out, uh, reach out for us. Certainly nowadays with safety being in the forefront of our minds, uh, now's a great time to uh, stock some of the client tool safety gear. Um, Klein Tool just released some of their new cooling gear is now available. Um, in the cooling gear, I'm looking at do rags, cooling um, helmet liner, cooling headband, mash cooling towels. And um, I know personally experience, I actually have one of the cooling towels on now. And it's it's a great thing. You dip it in some water and you rinse it out and it keeps your neck cool for a couple of hours throughout the day. It's actually a great little um, nice cooling gear for the, especially when it gets hot out there in the summertime. Decided to put a little bit of a, a, a this or that in uh, this PowerPoint um, just to go over the different hybrid features or some of our tools. Um, so on the left-hand side is your traditional lime and pear side cutter. Uh, on the right-hand side, the K12054, it's a nice hybrid plier. has four different functions, so you still get that lime and head. You still have that cutter as well, but you can also strip wire and uh, cut screws as, as well in that. So um, you know, you can certainly do a lot with the tool in the right and also save a, a, a couple dollars to that end user there. Now, of course, if you're a lineman, you're going to obviously want the lineman flyer. If you're stripping wire all day, you may just want a, a sole wire stripper. But uh, the hybrid tool that has about four different functions in it uh, certainly does well for maintenance people and also to diagnose problems uh, when they arrive. Um, here's another this or that with the flashlights. Um, if you can tell on the left hand side, on my left, um, the 56026, you're looking at 1997 for that price. Now this is probably one of your standard flashlights right here point. You got a LED pinning light from up close lighting and dim areas. And then on the other side for a couple of more dollars for the 56040, you're looking at matte price for 3997. And this has a little bit more features. Um, rechargeable focus light with class three laser pointers, um, twistable focus bezel, and then a strong magnet at the end. So we're just trying to compare. Um, you could go with the one version or you could step up and pay a little extra and get more features for the newer flashlight. So it depends on what they're looking for, what the contractor's main part purpose is, and what are they looking out to get out of the flashlight. A whole line of non-contact testers here. So uh, walk into some distribution houses, you know, you guys have a million of these. And it's like, because the, they all have a, a certain unique purpose here. So really the NCBT1 here, it's just gonna be your basic non-contact tester. We think it's great for apprentices and basic uh, safety testing. The one below that, the NCBT-5A, uh, uh, you'll get a dual range, uh, voltage uh, on there as well. That'd be good for foreman, also as a laser pointer on there as well. So once again, getting back to that, uh, being able to explain objects on the job site, that would certainly be a really good item for that. In the middle, we have our, our, our combo here. So we have a non-contact tester plus a, a GFCI tester. So good for tradespeople, maybe doing finish work, uh, maybe facilities managers and some inspectors as well. We talked about the one on the bottom right hand corner that's with the laser distance meter. The one on top will actually give you a, uh, a temp reader. So it's an infrared temp reader. So that's gonna be great for your uh, HVAC professionals uh, who need to uh, test for uh, voltage as well as uh, temperature itself. So certainly looking at these, uh, the two on the right hand side certainly will offer some of that cost savings as you're combining uh, two features in one tool. Right here, you guys, we have the this or that for the levels. Um, as you can see, we have the basic level, which is the basic torpedo level, which are four icons. And then you also look down, you have a little better one for the 39, for 935 RBLT, and that price at 39.97. It's your basic torpedo level with lit um, valves, nice, nice magnetic lights up the valves for you guys to see the darkness. Um, we talked about the LBL. 100, the one that goes for about $60 for map pricing. 
and all the different features it can do. And then we also threw in another another leveler, which is the 935 DAG, which is about $29.97 for Matt Pricing. It's the ultimate level for you guys out there. You know, uh, home inspectors are starting to look and, and, and test for uh, USB voltage here. Um, I know at least a lot of hospitals, universities, we're starting to see the, the two 120s with the uh, two USB ports. Uh, this is going to be certainly a great tool for all home inspectors here. Uh, so we have uh, the first one on the left, we'll do uh, your type A, just checking for voltage. One on the middle, we'll still do that type A, but we'll test under that load. One on the right, you do uh, type A and C. So once again, it, it's different depending upon the use of what the end user needs. And also uh, a, a whole different uh, array of screwdrivers and nut drivers here. So uh, one on your uh, left is standard number two Phillips, gonna run you about $10. One all the way on your right now is our, our 15 and one. So this comes with security, HVAC, and classic fit. Uh, you know, so you get 15 of those bits for $30. Certainly, it's uh, going to cost you a little bit more, but you're going to get more uh, bits out of that tool than if you were to use the single-use ones. And in the middle there, we have our 7-to-1 nut driver. goes uh, quarter to 9 16 And we have our 11-to-1 uh, nut and screwdriver combo. So just trying to show everyone uh, that uh, the hybrid tools are certainly saving some money. Uh, of course, some people like the, the single use tool, but I uh, want to make everyone aware of the hybrid offering that we have. We just threw this together as a, uh, a little bit of a perfect service kit. If you have someone walking uh, in a counter, or if you're uh, you know about to uh, get in the trade yourself, uh, you know, it's a 15 in one screwdriver, seven in one nut, hybrid plier, non contact with temp. Uh, flashlight and a, a basic uh, clamp meter there, you're going to be able to uh, diagnose uh, or potentially solve any problem that will uh, really come up on the day-to-day -day functions of, of, of your job. It's also nice is it's, uh, what, six tools here, so it'll be able to fit in your bag nice and uh, you'll be able to get on with your day. Um, right here, you guys, is the client training modules. Um, there's just a nice uni um, nice website to go on to learn more about Klein. Um, for some of those distributors out there, learn how to sell the merchandise Klein tools, take a couple of the modules, um, become proficient at some of the Klein tool um, training modules, and take a test, and you get a certification from it. Um, I think it's a great learning point, especially if you are unfamiliar about a certain product or you want to know a little bit more about it. It's a great way to test yourself and just know different things, know different ins and outs of the Klein tool. And thank you guys for your time for our quick little 30 minutes of what's new from Klein. If you guys do have any questions, you can ask um, me or Ian or email us. And then it's open for you guys for questions. <laughs>